All right, this is part two of well, however many. Uh, once again, this is uh, SR2. Uh, I just finished uh, putting on thermal grease and cutting the thermal pieces itself. Um, the next part is uh, inside the box. It provides you with three different pieces of thermal tape. Um, they vary in size. Um, my particular one has a gray colored one that uh, is, uh, I think it says point five millimeters. It's very, very thin. And then you have the one millimeter, which is slightly thicker. Comparatively, you can feel the difference. I don't know if you can see the difference that well, but... <clears throat> and then uh, and then a really thick version that uh, goes for uh, over here. Now, <clears throat> this stuff's basically easy to do. You just uh, it's got a two-sided tape on each side that stops it from being sticky. Right there, and on the other side, you can peel it back. And then what you do is, uh, before you ever remove it, though, you cut it. Um, any pair of normal kitchen scissors would do. Here, let me cover up this. This bright light is probably blinding people. It's a very shiny motherboard tray. <laughs> um, just some basic scissors. You uh, just cut along the edges and uh, won't hurt it at all. Apparently they give you some leftovers. Um, I don't know, maybe if you mess it up, you have lots left. <clears throat> I've already covered the spots that need to be covered. You're going to cover this CPU right beneath it. Right here, you put the the one millimeter and the point five. Actually, this is one millimeter. This is the point five. Same thing over here. You do the same thing. It's going to have two. And then over here you cover these little black, with a little bit of a 0.5. The reason being is I'm figuring the reason why that's thicker is when you end up putting this on it, it needs to it'll be resting against those, and that's just metal, so I assume that uh, dissipates heat that way. I bet they don't get all that hot due to the fact there's another set over here that aren't covered either. So, oh, another word of advice, leave it in the plastic. That way you can touch the back of it without hurting it. Because after you do, that nice, pretty surface will be marred by fingerprints. <clears throat> so, you cut them along the lines, put them in the spots they need to be. One, two, three. These two over here in a line. You'll need to cut an additional strip to make this one long enough. Same thing over here. Cover these. One last good look at there's a little uh, black squares. One long strip. And then what you're going to do, peel off one side, peel off the other side. They're kind of a pain. It probably would be more productive if maybe a razor blade, but I don't want to end up cutting myself. Let's see, there we go. And it's pulled off. And you place it carefully. Have a tight squeeze here. On the top, doesn't look like it's going to fully cover. So let's take one last little piece here. Once again, doesn't need to be super exact, but we want to make sure we cover it all. So cut another little piece here so that way we can fully cover. Once again, make sure you remove both sides of the plastic. It'll be really flimsy feeling and kind of uh, kind of like a, a gel sort of, but consistent without falling apart. Ooh, bot has left the server. Then place that on there. Then you do the next one. Remove. Move cat hair. 
the back side will be or the front side depending on your view of things will be it'll be a tougher plastic and then the other side like so line it up at the very end kind of smooth it on gently I'll do the second one As you can see, this is kind of a time-consuming process. I won't make you sit through all of them. Kind of seal it on there a little bit. Not too hard, don't want to push on it. I'm going to do the rest of these, and then we'll go to the next step, which will be getting ready the block for preparation to mount onto it.